Well, as Murfreesboro continues to grow to evolve, many tend to forget what the city used to look like. Before City Hall was built, there was a neighborhood filled with Murfreesboro's poorest residents. News 2's Miranda Whittington has more from those who lived in what was the Bottoms community. Before the businesses and City Hall were built in downtown Murfreesboro. I stayed at the top of the box. On Front Street, you had to cross Lighton. There lied a neighborhood called the Bottoms. We played in that at the bottom, rode bicycles through the bottom, and picked at everybody in the bottom. George Clark and Margaret Davis are just a few that remember what life used to be like there. Well, on the front street, certain places that they had, they, the buses wasn't going, so we have to walk. The school rain, shine, sleet, and snow. It wasn't any work down there. It wasn't no jobs, and the people live in uh, dilapidated houses. After the Civil War, the Bottoms formed, becoming a place where low-income African Americans lived. The reason to call it the Bottom because every time it rained real hard, it would flood out. I am a descendant of my parents who were raised in the Bottoms. Dr. Gloria Bonner remembers hearing stories about the struggles her parents faced living in this community. My mom would often talk about the floods that would come and how the families would stack their furniture on top of each other. But as time progressed, this community soon integrated. It was primarily black, but some white people, the white families were down there too, so they all had to live together. Because no matter survive, you had to live together. In 1949, the National Housing Act was passed, bringing with it urban renewal and pushing out those who lived in the bottoms <laughs> to help develop more of the city's downtown area. And you probably could just walk down the street now, even in the black community, you talk to a lot of people, they probably don't know about the bottoms. Mary Watkins with the African American Heritage Society of Rutherford County works to make sure this community story is still remembered in Murfreesboro. It has to be told, it has to be incorporated with the history of Murfreesboro because that's part of it and it's very important. And no matter how much Murfreesboro continues to grow, its past is what continues to shape and mold the future we see today. You need to know the history of Murfreesboro and the history of Rutherford County and then you'd know, know about the bottom. In Murfreesboro, Miranda Whittington, News 2. And the African American Heritage Society of Rutherford County says they are working to get a historical marker erected to honor and tell the story of the bottom's community.